Hello, everyone. My name is Thor Hinen, and I'm an incoming civil engineering graduate student at Columbia University beginning this fall. Today, I'll be discussing the application of sustainability practices in civil engineering in low-income countries. I'm going to start by telling you an inspiring story about an entrepreneur and engineer in Kenya. Nzambi Mati is a young engineer who envisioned a solution to the problem of plastic waste. According to Mati, in Nairobi, the capital of Kenya, they generate about 500 metric tons of plastic waste every day. She turned the problem into an entrepreneurship opportunity by designing bricks made of recycled plastics. Unfortunately, plastic waste is a prevalent problem in low-income countries because recycling centers are less common. Cooperation faced difficulties in solving the problem because sustainability is very expensive. In low-income countries, there's a lack of good uh, waste management system, the use of recycled materials, and the use of sustainable manufacturing practices. Nzambi Mati set a great example by getting her community involved in solving the problems without waiting for corporations or the governmental bodies. She convinced every single inhabitant of her community that recycling is the right thing to do because it cleans the neighborhood, it improves the, the, the community's infrastructure by using plastic bricks to develop pavement and construct buildings in the future. This effort ultimately improved the quality of lives of the people who once live with trash all around them. The civil engineering field has always been finding ways to improve our environment by performing sustainable practices. This includes recycling and reusing of materials such as concrete and steel and maintaining our natural environment by working towards reducing pollution. As previously mentioned, this process is very expensive, especially in low-income countries. Now, Zambi Mati from Kenya showed us that we should, care, we should care about taking those little steps because collectively, it can make a global impact. Based on the story of Nanzambi Mati, I want to leave you with the following as recommendations for achieving environmental sustainability in low-income countries. Because sustainability is expensive in low-income countries, so members of communities should come together and take initiatives into their own hands. An example is, again, the young engineer from Kenya who decided to fight pollution in your community by forming a team to clean plastic waste and recycle them into, into bricks. Secondly, corporations do need to be held accountable for finding solutions to managing plastic waste. However, most of these organizations exist in high income countries. So consequently, most of the solutions are focused on the communities. Additionally, governments should focus on improving policies that provide access to transportation, uh, employment, and housing to improve the standard of living of its inhabitants. Additionally, they need to popularize the idea of sustainability by showing communities how to be environmentally friendly and prove how it can be cost effective. Additionally, they need to develop programs for schools to teach students the negative impacts of environmental degradation and includes uh, examples of how students can be more sustainable at home. Lastly, since civil engineer has uh, an important role in solving this problem, they should focus on small, inexpensive and achievable projects. I wanna end by saying sustainability is one of the most talked about topics in every profession. It is a global issue and not just a regional one. Thank you for listening and I'll be glad to answer any questions you have. Thank you.